Today, we're exploring the industrial origami technique. This is design education with Mia Tahan. Just like origami, the process is based on folding. Unlike origami, we use sheet metal instead of paper to create 3D structures. So the process starts with sheet metal. Sheet metal is then cut using either laser cutting or stamp cutting. So I'll make videos about both of those techniques later on. A laser cutting is basically inputting information into a laser cutting machine and the laser cutting machine will cut the material exactly in the way that you've told it to. A stamp cutting, basically like a cookie cutting technique, so kind of think about cookie cutting, you have a shape and it cuts into the material. These uh, two cutting techniques will cut this like kind of smile shape along the lines that will be folded. So as you can see in this picture, the pressure needed to fold the sheet is very low. As you can see in this clip uh, from uh, the channel called Industrial Origami, I'll link the videos up here. You can check them out. They're very cool. Uh, they kind of show you exactly how industrial origami is made by actually showing you how it's made. For this process, everything is pre-calculated. So you really need to think about all the steps before you actually start cutting and folding because you need to know exactly where you're gonna fold, what you're gonna fold, what happens if I fold it this way, what happens if we cut it this way, etc., etc. So the material needs to be at least 0.25 millimeters thick. The maximum thickness kind of depends on the, cu uh, the cutting techniques. Seventy-five years later. <sighs> Materials compatible with this technique are metals, plastics, and composites. So that's a wide range of materials that you could use. So now let's talk about the pros and cons. There are a lot of pros that outweigh the very little cons. First one is that this process can be used to make very complex shapes. That's pretty cool. It limits the use for raw materials. Uh, so as we said before, it's one sheet of metal and you just cut things out of it and that's it. You don't really need anything, any other material than that. This process helps to build and modify prototypes. It takes very little time to create these products. So you can use this manufacturing for a very small series or for mass production, uh, which is very cool uh, because you can basically adapt to the demand. The level of precision is very high and it kind of depends on the cutting technique. So for laser cutting, you'll have a very, very high precision. With um, a stamp cutting, it's a bit more complicated because the, the edges tend to be rounded. So that's a little less precise. The smiley shape that we saw before, uh, that helps solidify the structure. You have a limited number of steps to go from sheet metal to end product, which also limits the number of people that you need to hire. So that's for the pros. Now the cons, there are two cons. Uh, one of which is not really a con. So the first one is the price. The price is quite high, uh, but the cost of material, transportation, and storage make up for it because the cost of those are very, very low. The second con is that there's a lot of pre-planning uh, to do. There's a lot of time spent on trying to make a, uh, a model adaptable to this method. So as I said before, you really need to think about all the different steps and how the things are going to be folded to turn it into a structure or turn it into a, a, f a piece of furniture or whatever else. This method is used in a lot of different industries. So uh, it's used in the automobile industry and furniture design. Uh, it's used in the mounting of photovoltaic installations. Uh, it's used in packaging, it's used in cooking trays, there's a lot of different applications. To end this video, we're going to talk about the environmental impact of this technique. So firstly, uh, it's a great space saver, which means less transportation needed and less storage needed. That's uh, a lot of CO2 coming down. We use very little raw materials, and so the scraps we get uh, from the cutting techniques can be recycled. Now. The problem is that in order to recycle metal, uh, you need to go to very high temperatures and that does uh, emit a lot of CO2. So it's debatable whether or not this process is environmental friendly. All right, so that's it. That's industrial origami. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something new. Uh, please let me know, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more of these original processes, if you'd like to see more basic stuff like the extrusion video that I made that you can check right here. So let me know in the comments. Uh, subscribe for more and I'll see you later.